So as you saw in that intro right there, the Disney Wonder has arrived. It was so awesome to see it back in this morning. We are so ready to get on this cruise. The worst part on an embarkation day is the anticipation. We watched that ship back in at like 6.30 this morning. And since then, we've just been anticipating getting on that ship. I went to Starbucks, got a quick coffee and a sandwich. We walked the deck, got a like literally this is the closest you can get to these ships, I think, in any of the ports. I mean, we were like probably 20 yards from the ship, just watching them load and unload, and it was awesome. Anyway, we got our bags all situated. Here at the Pan Pacific, the bellman actually came and got our bags, took them down. It was really nice, like, and it's quick. Like, I was planning on like filming the thing, and in a matter of minutes from calling them, the guy was at the door and came and got them. Uh, he did recommend to me this morning when I was getting coffee that you call before 8.30 because at 8.30 is when everybody starts calling. He said they even bring extra people in at 8.30 on the dot because that's literally when everybody calls. So maybe that has something to do with it. I'm not sure. Anyway, our bags from the Pan Pacific Hotel are already on their way to the cruise ship. So we don't even have to worry about getting our bags to the cruise terminal where they'll put them on the ship. Pan Pacific, that's a service they offer. We stayed here for the convenience and I can tell you the convenience was very nice. I mean, the fact that now we just go down the elevator and we walk on the ship, that's going to be great. So anyway, if you're new around here, I'm Bryson. My wife, Crystal, she's reading a book right now so I'm letting her relax. But if you haven't done so already, click that like button because it helps out our channel so much. Click that subscribe button and click that bell icon so you're notified whenever we release a new video. All right guys, it is time we are going to make our way down the elevator, get our last few things together, and let's head to the cruise terminal and go get on the Disney Wonder. But before we leave, there's one last look from our room on the Disney Wonder. A little bit ago when we came back up here, there was still actually quite a few people out here on cabanas right here. Now I see a worker in a yellow jumpsuit. Looks like he's spraying down the deck. So they have begun cleaning and everything. But I mean, this is a view you for sure don't get to see too often of your ship, so. This is pretty awesome. I can see everything on the deck. That is just really, really cool. That is exciting. We got Quiet Cove right over there. Cove Cafe. I'm ready for some Cove Cafe. Oh, it's awesome. All right, seriously, this time we're gonna go down to the cruise terminal. So we will see you guys inside the cruise terminal. Okay, Mr. Totem Pole. We'll see you later. Thanks for letting us stay here. It's been fun. I got a ship to get on. Well, so is my wife. And like I said, we just walked out of the hotel lobby and right here, here's the ship. No more than five steps outside the lobby. Here is how close she is. It's a really, really cool port. Like it's in the middle of a downtown metropolis. So you got to remember that. But the port itself is really, really cool. Like the fact that last night there was three ships here that we've never seen before. That was really, really cool. Down here, they're getting everything loaded. I saw earlier when we were down here, they were taking the bags off and we saw a bunch of like the onboard gifts getting put on. But yeah, I mean, just like Port Canaveral, it's busy and bustling. They're going. All right, so Crystal just found out actually why there is still people on the ship that I was talking about is because there was a forklift accident this morning when they were loading and unloading stuff. Everybody's okay, everybody's fine. We aren't behind schedule. How is everybody doing behind me? <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're gonna get on the ship still. No problem, everybody's okay. But that's why it's like 10, after 10.30 and people are still coming off the ship is because they had to make sure everybody was okay and make sure everything was fine after that forklift accident. Now I kind of want to know what happened, you know? Be a nosy Nora. So right here in the lobby on the ground level of the Pan Pacific, there's a stairwell right here. Take you to the cruise terminal where you can wait for these elevators. We're taking the stairs. So in Vancouver, as you come downstairs, you simply just follow all these signs that say embarkation. They lead you right to the entrance. And as of right now, masks are still mandatory in the terminal. So we are in the convention center and we are checking in here. There's just like a little squirrely Q line and over there is the Norwegian Jewel. They're checking in in the same space. So it's very simple. There's lots of cast members telling you where to go. So lots of easy to follow instructions. It's not Port Canaveral, but there's little signs that have little the Disney Cruise Line logo. So it's not completely devoid of Disney. 
Okay, that was super simple. So we just showed our arrive can, showed our passports, did our check-in. So now we're gonna go downstairs and go through customs. So it's very simple. It's just a lot of like weaving in and out of lines, but everything is very organized. So it's not a big deal. Hen, yeah. woo, high five. High five. five. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. So like I said, we're heading downstairs, but I had to give the, the woman a high five with the mouse hand. All right, we have made it. We are getting ready to get on. There she is, the Disney wonder. All right, up here, we got the pictures. Gotta get your customary picture. And then we're on the ship. Thank you all. Here we got Mickey. Disney Wonder, please come aboard before you. Thanks, Mick. All right. Let's go. We got to go to our muster station. Go find that now. Oh. Make sure you scan the right one. I keep scanning that. Muster drills all done. Make sure you scan the right number because we had like T and S right by each other. And as you saw, I kept like scanning S, but that's all it is. You scan your letter, it tells you what to do. And then when the time comes, they will have us all watch the video on TV together because the whole ship stops doing what they're doing. But now it's time for some cabanas. So here we got cabanas right here. Looks like we got some grilled chicken breasts, green beans, salmon. You got a pasta station right here. Crystal's getting. Right here you got some lamb chops, some steak, some asparagus, your breads. We got a carving station right here. They really do have it all, it's very delicious. Over here is where you're gonna find your crab legs, your salads, your shrimps, everything. You got your drink stations over there. Get ready to eat, because they have a lot of food. Over here we got our Chinese, we got our rice dish, our noodle dish. Everything's looking awesome, there we go, we're ready. Right here, here's your desserts. This is the place you wanna to go to immediately. I suggest like six Oreo cheesecakes. They are awesome. And then there's two sides to the buffet, so remember that. A lot of pasta. I got a pasta with a pesto and goat cheese. I got uh, lo mein, cause I always get lo mein. A piece of focaccia, some couscous, and some olives, and some dessert. Incredibly healthy, as you can tell. Alrighty, I got my plate. I got some I call them cod nuggets. It's just fried codfish. Got lamb chops right here, a couple of those. They looked really good. Some salmon, asparagus, because I need veggies. Some shaved beef, prosciutto. Then there is some caprese under here, some basil, mozzarella, tomato. And then we got some beef lo mein. And of course, my big old bowl of shrimp I gotta get every time. Next course, probably be dessert. We got, oh, I thought you guys were gonna have a dance off. Oh, well now she, you're having a dance off. Now you gotta dance off, come on. Come on, Crystal, there you go. Yeah, everybody's happy to be on the cruise. <laughs> and we got Funnel Vision going right here. They're just playing some random B-roll here, but everybody's ready. They got the inflatable hands out already for the sail away party. You can see them right over there. It is time. It is time to sail away. Well, not quite yet. We gotta get a few more people on board probably, but we are all done with dinner. So let's continue checking out the deck. Let's go check out the adults on the area. And then right behind where I was just showing you funnel vision, that's where you'll see the entrance to Edge. It's one of the teen preteen clubs. You can head in there, send your kids off, and then you come around the corner and you can go enjoy Quiet Cove. 
where if you can't tell, Crystal's already made her way right here past this sign, 18 years and older. Remember that, kids. Quiet Cove. This is where you'll find Cove Cafe, get your coffee. It's just a good time. So here is one thing that I think is really cool that they do on Alaskan cruises. I know other cruise lines do it, but Disney has these blue blankets all around the deck. So if you are cold, grab one of these blankets. They're right here for you to grab. A cast member will grab you one if they run out. They have the blankets all over for you guys, so don't be scared. Crystal gets cold. She'll probably have one of these, multiple ones of these during the day, during the whole cruise. No big deal. And right out here, we got Vancouver looking all nice. There's the seaplanes we were watching last night at dinner. Yeah. Oh, there comes the seaplane right now. He's landing right there. There he goes. Oh, we got a touchdown. So just a heads up, if you are new around our channel and you have not seen any of our cruise vlogs, one, go watch our other cruise vlogs because they're awesome. But two, this is probably one of the only times you will see us actually filming around the pool. So if we tell you like we're going to the pool or something, we are not going to be filming. We just try to respect people's boundaries, people's spaces. Plus it gives us time to do stuff on our own and not have to worry about filming or anything like that. We just enjoy our time at the pool, but mainly it's just, you know, we want to respect everybody. We want to make sure everybody's boundaries are respected and that's all. So if you don't see a lot of pool footage, that's why. So right now is probably when we're going to see the pools and everything. Because there's not a whole lot of people doing anything because Everybody's still getting on board and eating and all that. So as I was saying, Cove Cafe is back here. You just go, as soon as you walk into the area, it's right here. Go through these doors, get your coffees, any of the snacks and stuff they have in there. Those are also included with your cruise package. So don't be scared. Go in there, get a treat, get some coffee. It'll definitely be a good time for you, I promise. We're also gonna count how many times they say good times, because I feel like I've said it a lot. Because you know what? It is a good time. Here we got the pool deck where I showed you funnel vision earlier. Doesn't look like we have any kids in the pool, so I'm gonna go ahead and show it. That's just where everybody goes, right there in the middle. They got all the, there's Crystal. Sorry. That's okay. Got all the lounge chairs and everything. We see we got the stage right here for the sail away party. At where the lifeguard is, that's obviously the pool. And then there's some big family hot tubs up there. And then behind that is where Pinocchio's Pizzeria is. There's another bar. On the other side, there's Pete's Boiler Grill, where you get your hamburgers and hot dogs. So all your non cabanas food is back here in that area right there. Oh, we got Sailor Donald greeting everybody yes, down there now. He saw us. Number one. Number one, Donald. We told him he's number one. He didn't hear us. He's got to greet everybody. Yeah, he's, he's working hard. Yeah. Awesome. Today, so very important thing we have to do today is we have to see Pluto today because today is Pluto's birthday. So we have to see Pluto today and wish him a happy birthday. All right, we just got to our room. Woo! 6138. Here we go. All right, a few of our bags are outside, so we'll show you the room in a minute. <laughs> All right, we made it in the room, and as you walk in, you are greeted right past the bathrooms, and to your bed. Here is our lovely queen size bed. As you've seen before, we're just gonna do like a little brief room tour. But we got our like 19th sling bag, cause they just keep giving us these. So we're gonna give that away actually. Crystal asked someone in our Facebook group if they wanted it, so she's gonna drop that off later to them. Our silver lanyards. You got your mustard drill, lifeboat, life vest. Um, pamphlet right here tells you everything to do. Uh, we actually have this on our fish extender outside. It is the waivers we need to sign for our port adventure in Skagway that we're doing. But yeah, you got your bed, like I said, with the two lamps on each side. Each side has USB outlets and plugs, which is awesome. You got some drawers right here. We got Crystal, she's looking around. Got drawers, got a nice little picture right there. Some pirates. Back here we got Walt and Lillian on what he only could imagine would become the Disney Cruise Line. You got your water glass, some more drawers right here. Closet with a great amount of hangers. Hope we never use those. You got a safe and just so you know, there is, there's hangers right here. There's hangers back in that side of the closet. And if you need more, 
just ask. Your stateroom attendant will gladly give you more. So bathroom number one, which is closest to the bed, is your shower slash bathtub. Very roomy, very nice. I stand, I'm about five foot 10, six foot if I really want to stretch it. But I mean, I fit just fine in it. You got a sink, you got your little makeup towel, which Crystal loves that they give you. Bathroom two, pretty self-explanatory. You got your toilet, your sink. You got some shelving right over there to put your stuff on. And what we are in is a deluxe navigator veranda. So we have our bed right here, which will fold out and you can set up someone here if you need to sleep. We do not have the bunk bed up top that pulls down just the sofa. We got some lovely artwork. One thing I do love, which we never use it, obviously we don't need to, but you have the curtain right here to separate anybody that's staying with you if you wanna have your own space. Then out there, can she get it on the first try? Oh, she did. That's like the first time I think we've ever done that. This is the third try. Oh, this is the third try. <laughs> she just outed herself. But here's our navigator veranda. Look at this. We got a nice little map here. And there's our quote unquote porthole. And our friends are actually next door. They're right behind that wall. They're not on there. They're not out there yet. I had to check. But anyway, our friends that we're cruising with, they are right next door to us. So if we were on a normal veranda, we could separate that, make a giant veranda. But instead, we have this right here. It's got all the gauges and everything. You got your compass over there, just like if you were a captain, because you're navigating on your navigator's veranda. I love the woodwork that's in here. Even our table matches it, our chairs. I have a feeling Crystal's going to read many a books, have a couple glasses of wine, and search for whales all day long once we get out there. I actually really love this for Alaska because I really think that you have all the benefits of a veranda, but you have a little bit of extra like protection in case it's like windy. So I think it's really great. So as we make our way back into the room, here we have our desk. You got a mirror, obviously. So you got more drawers, more drawers, there's your mini fridge behind there. Your TV, which comes fully loaded with any Disney movie you can really think of. You got a couple cabinets right there. And there's the front door where we came in. So, I mean, is it huge? No, but it's a cruise ship. It's not supposed to be huge. But this is a great room, and this is also a very discounted room on this cruise especially. That's why we wanted this room. It, was, it made this cruise probably a good amount cheaper. I mean, I don't remember an ex... I don't remember an exact dollar amount, but it was much cheaper than the deluxe stay, um, the deluxe veranda room. And we stayed on this in October last year on this exact ship. The room next door is actually the one we stayed in. So we know we like this room, so that's why we did it. Oh, and you got a full length mirror right over there. I just saw that. That's where Crystal sits and does her makeup every night. Anyway, uh, we need to get some stuff unpacked, get the camera charged a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And next time you see us, we'll be at the sail away party. All right guys, we got our door done. So excited about our Alaska cruise magnet. We got our Mickey. Bryson made that one. Then we got our Mickey. Our For Love of the Mouse, follow us on YouTube. And then those are um, ones that we made from uh, door decorator, stateroom decorations from a couple cruises ago. I love it, it looks so cute. So this is our third time on the Disney Wonder, and we have never made it all the way forward on deck 10. And here is, uh, I think they call it Goofy Sports Deck. Maybe that's just what it's called in the fantasy and the dream, but here's the basketball courts. I knew they were here, but I've never seen them. So we're seeing them together right here. Very front of the ship. If you wanna come shoot some hoops, go right ahead, we're right here. I ran over to Code Cafe before the sailing away party to get a cold brew, so I got some coffee. And I completely forgot, they have these Alaska tumblers that you can get for your drinks on this cruise. It's $15, and I mean, this is like a really nice tumbler. Like, I will probably use this for all my drinks, this whole cruise. Like, I'll just rinse it out and use it for water, soda, whatever. I mean, it's really nice. It was, like I said, it was $15. I think it was $17 for that with the coffee. So, I mean, that's great. This is something I was gonna get anyway, and I could get it at Cove Cafe. So if you come on an Alaskan cruise, look out for these. 
All right, we are up here on deck 10. We are ready for the sail a wave party. It's the sail a wave party on the Disney Wonder. It's a different party than what we saw in the Fantasy. And last time we were on the Wonder, we didn't have anything because cruising had just restarted. So it's pretty exciting, right? We had a party. Remember, you got super excited. On the Fantasy. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> We had confused. literally nothing on yeah. the Wonder last time we were on here. Like we got Mickey and Minnie in the atrium yeah. waving at so us. So this is really exciting. I yeah. forgot. Yeah, Crystal Crystal just goes on so many cruises, oh, she can't sick. remember them all. They just all are they one all, cruise. They all wave together. Anyway, yeah, they're all waving goodbye. Anyway, sail a wave party. Let's get ready to rock and get out of port. sailed away there goes Canada place we will see you all in a long long time oh and we are first out the Norwegian jewel is still sitting there waiting to leave so we're out first there we go it's time to go to Alaska folks so if you look up ahead here you see that bridge coming it is one of the historical things of sailing out of Vancouver is the tide has to be just perfect for the cruise ships to make it under this bridge. And that's where we're heading right now as we leave Vancouver. It is a little windy out. There's a nice little chill in the wind. So there is that uh, Canada Alaska cruise Vancouver chill that everyone told us about to bring layers for. But uh, yeah, we're going under that bridge. And this is <laughs> crazy enough. This is one of the things I have looked forward to the most for some reason, I don't know why. Here we go. We are going under the bridge. They just announced the horn. Everybody's up there. There's people up there waving. Subscribe to Leg Life. There we go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So I forgot to show these when we were doing our room tour earlier, but all the cruise rooms have, especially next to the bed, have a European outlet. And we may or may not have a international trip coming up next year that we're planning and haven't really announced yet. So here's a semi announcement. But anyway, we bought some adapters to try them out and these work awesome. You plug them right into the European outlet next to the bed. And I was wrong earlier, there is not USB outlets. But if you use this, it has two USB outlets that you can use for charge your phone. So these are gonna be in our link for our Amazon store. Uh, it's down below in the description of every video. If you need something like this, if you're going on a European trip, you're going on a Disney cruise and you want more outlets, here you go, right here. All right, we are ready for dinner. Came back, freshened up just a little bit. Crystal actually already left. She'll be joining us later for dinner. She is waiting for the merchandise at White Caps to open because she wants to go get her Alaska merchandise, make sure she gets it all. And then yeah, she'll be joining us for dinner. So let's head down, we're having dinner at Triton's tonight. So for bread service, we have just your basic white and wheat rolls, but this is the star of the show, this black olive 
spread that they give you. It is so good, so delicious. And you know, I had to get my vacation Diet Coke. Heidi got one too. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, and Nick got a ginger ale. Yeah, Nick got a ginger ale. Cheers, ginger ale. All right. And Crystal is still in the merchandise line. Who knows if she will even be at dinner. All right, and tonight we have the escargot, obviously. I get it every trip. And we got it for the whole table, even Crystal. There's her little covered plate of escargot. We're keeping it warm while she makes her way, hopefully, back from the shops. But yeah, escargot for the whole table. All right, so my second appetizer has arrived. It is the fried pierogies. I already took a bite, and I can tell you right now, these are really good. Crystal actually turned me on to pierogies a few years ago. I really, really enjoy them. Crystal has finally joined us. So here's Crystal. She survived the merchandise, which apparently was chaos. Nick got the ice lobster and jumbo shrimp. And Heidi is on to French onion soup. And for the soup portion tonight, I literally the only time I ever get soup is on the cruise line. Like we don't eat soup at home. And I went with French onion, which I think is just delicious. Heidi also got French onion. So let's dig in and have some French onion soup. <laughs> So our main courses have arrived. I went with the Chateau Brion that I always get, filet mignon. But also, I got the crispy duck breast, which is one of the regional offerings they have for this Alaskan cruise. Every category on the menu has some sort of regional offering they are doing. So I went with crispy duck breast because this is the only time of year it's offered on the Disney Wonder. Crystal got the farmhouse salad, which is the side salad. She always starts off light and then gets more food as the crew just goes on. Nick also got the filet and Heidi got some kind of pasta we don't know how to pronounce. Is it good? Okay, she likes it. And Trace already ate his mac and cheese. There's the magic. Thank you. And as you can see, I got the Grand Marnier souffle. Actually, the whole table got that for dessert this evening. Chris also got a creme brulee and I added a strawberry shortcake and we got the wild berry pudding, which is the regional inspired dessert. And when they bring that, I'll show you what it looks like. And there is the wild berry white bread pudding. It's berries, white bread, a wild berry sauce, and a little dollop of whipped cream. Supposedly it's good. We're gonna find out. So the regional berry bread pudding is awesome, but I was not expecting like a jello. And there is like a jello texture to it, but it is delicious. If you like berries, oh, but focus on the table number. If you like berries, this is perfect for you. They're very strong, vibrant, delicious, very refreshing dessert. So we're in line for pictures after dinner, and I legitimately thought that was a TV screen, but it is not. That is our view through the porthole right now. Like that is something else. So we just came back to the room, drop off some things and everything, and our stateroom attendant has already been here, and it looks like we have, I think it's a penguin. That's what we're going with, penguin. Yeah, it is, it's a penguin. Yep, totally a penguin. It's awesome. He gave me the three chocolates I'd asked for, that's great. What is great is I had asked for two more pillows, and he brought them. That's so awesome. I, that's awesome. I heard you could do that and I did it the first time ever he brought them. So don't be scared to ask for something if you want it. They can always say no, but if you don't ask, they can't say yes. Anyway, there's our penguin, but we're not quite going to bed yet. Crystal got that merchandise and we gotta show you what we got. Okay, so not Alaska related. I got the Wonder Spirit jersey. This was an impulse buy. And then we had to get the Mickey and Minnie Alaska plushies because they're adorable and I had to get them. Bryson got the new Nike Disney Cruise Line hat. And then this is the Wonder um, model. We're not going to take it out, but this is the Wonder model. Just trust me on that. And then this is the Alaska zip up. And it just says Disney Cruise Line Alaska right there. And then on the back, it's really cute. And it's super, super soft. I'm really excited about it. 
and then we got the uh, the throw, the little blanket. So, which was $19.99 if you spent $60, which we clearly did. Crazy. I've never experienced anything like this going into a store on the cruise ship. And I go into the stores first thing as soon as they open on embarkation day, every single cruise. And we had to stand in a line that went all the way down the hall. And then by the time I got in, it went all the way down the next hall. And as it opened, it, usually they open like 15 minutes early, not here. They opened at 6.05 and everybody rushed the Alaska merchandise. It was crazy. I've not ever seen anything like it on the Disney Cruise Line. People were elbowing each other, pushing people out of the way. It was nuts. And I was like thinking that like they weren't going to be restocking things. So I was like, I was, this was what I wanted. And then I wanted um, this, our friends wanted one of these. So I made sure to grab them one of these. And, um, and then we wanted to get one of the blankets. So I just made sure to get that. They didn't have Bryson's hat. I think it's because there's only one more sailing after ours. They're not like restocking stuff that they're sold out of. And which is really unfortunate because it's pretty clear that people would buy it. But it was like nuts. It was like, it was like 50th anniversary at Magic Kingdom style on a cruise ship. It was crazy. And then we had to wait in line and the line was like insane. It was just nuts. Never seen anything like it on the cruise ship before. So here you go. Here is our view from our navigator's veranda. It is about 8.30. So I'd say the sun's setting at like a normal-ish time. But it is beautiful. Look at the reflection on the water. I mean, those mountains over there. That's just amazing. It's so beautiful. Then there's my wife. She's just as beautiful. Oh man. Whew. I am not disappointed. So you know what guys, after being back in the room and seeing this awesome view, I think we're just kind of in day one here. I'm gonna jump in the shower, take a shower, get all cleaned up, ready for tomorrow. Crystal's gonna sit out here on the veranda and just read her book and look at that view. And I think I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna watch a movie and just enjoy the view as well. So thank you all so much for coming along. Embarkation day can kind of be a little hectic, but I think we have a pretty good rhythm of what we do and it was fun. It was another fun day, breathtaking views. The views that we have seen cannot come across on this camera enough. I mean, it's breathtaking. And I'm, I mean, we come from beautiful views in Colorado, but nothing like what we're seeing here. But anyway, we're going to head to bed. Thank you all so much for watching. If you could click that like button as it helps our channel so much, click that subscribe button click that bell icon so you're notified whenever we release new videos. But most of all, thank you all so much for stopping by. And for the love of the mouse, never forget that it all started with a mouse. We only need